the camera's colour matrix defines the way the red, green and blue signals from the sensors are combined. Changing the matrix settings will change the overall colorimetry of the final image. This shouldn't be confused with white balance. White balance is used to define the way the camera responds to different light sources with different colour temperatures. For example, a tungsten light bulb has a very orange light, while sunlight is very blue. Setting the white balance correctly makes sure that white or shades of grey are just that white or a shade of grey, without colour or tint. And with a standard matrix setup, this should give a natural looking picture. The matrix affects the appearance of colours within the picture. Adjusting the matrix allows you to change the hue or tint of the image, increasing or decreasing the amount of red, for example. This could be used to create a look or style for a program. To adjust the matrix in an EX1 or EX3, you need to enter the picture profile menus by pressing the picture profile button. Then choose a profile to adjust using the scroll wheel or the cell set joystick. After choosing a profile, scroll down to the matrix settings and press enter. First, ensure that the matrix is set to on. Below this you have the option to choose from four different preset matrices. The standard matrix designed for general all-round shooting, the high sat matrix which puts more colour into the pictures, the FL light setting which reduces the amount of green in the image to compensate for filming under fluorescent lights which often have an excessive amount of green, and the final option, which is the cinema matrix, which is designed to give a desaturated filmic look. I find that the cinema matrix gives the most natural response. However, the colour is a little too subdued for me, so I use the next setting down in the menu, the level setting, to increase the colour level or saturation. Level can be used to increase and decrease the amount of colour in the image. My preferred setting is to use the cinema matrix with the level set to plus 30. The next setting is phase. This setting alters the overall hue of the entire image. It acts on all colours at once and can dramatically alter the colour of the image. I rarely use this function as I find its effect too severe. Although small hue shifts of up to plus or minus 15 can be useful to add a quick overall tint. Next come adjustments for the way the colours are blended. The first character, in this case R, indicates that it's the red that will be adjusted. The second character, G, indicates that it's the green channel that's going to be changed. So in this case, we will be changing the amount of red contained in the green channel. The most noticeable changes occur to the colours indicated in the menu setting. For example, R and G. With the first colour, in this case, R for red, having only its saturation changed, while the second colour, in this case green, will change in both hue and saturation. R stroke B, and here we see that red maintains its hue but changes in saturation, while blue changes in both hue and saturation. G stroke R, green maintains the same hue but changes in saturation, while red changes in both hue and saturation. G stroke B, Green maintains its hue while the saturation changes, and blue changes in both hue and saturation. B stroke R. Blue retains the same hue but changes in saturation, while red changes in both hue and saturation. And finally, 
B stroke G, where blue only changes in saturation, while green changes in both hue and saturation. And here's all six settings with the default matrix at the center. And here's a couple of matrix setups that you can try for yourself to create different looks in camera. 